What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to make a video today about CRO because in the live stream today, we got some really interesting information and sorry if you have a bunch of coughing, um, something's going on uh, with allergies and stuff, it's kicking back in and you know, my throat is itching, my nose is stuffed, all of that stuff is just, you know, all kicking in at the same time. So I hope that we don't have much in this video, but I'll try and suppress it as much as I can. So <clears throat> if you could make sure you guys hit that like button, also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Now, again, you know, CRO is a position that I really believe in that I want to hold as not only a, um, a short term position or even a long term position, but also looking at it as a, a passive income gainer for me, right? I'm looking at it as something to where I can stake it and gain 12% or gain whatever percentage I can get on any platform. And this is obviously a good thing to be able to collect passive income every single week or every single month and have that standard income come in even though you are putting so much up in order to have that happen. Now, I'm putting <clears throat> a certain amount up in the beginning and then obviously hoping for it to grow to you know, 100, 200, 300, 400,000, and then be able to collect that passive income as time goes on. And then whatever the price ends up moving to, I'll continue to collect that passive income from month to month to month. And hopefully it can um, amount to just about the same amount as what I have in there, if not more, because obviously we're going to have bullish and bearish markets. And I just um, hope that I collect as much as I already have in there as a whole. <clears throat> but we can get into that whole breakdown in another video. What we're here for is really to talk about how I was wrong. You know, I was wrong in a in a big way when it comes to CRO. And no, this is not wrong by saying that I don't believe in CRO or don't believe in where it's going to go or don't believe that this is going to fall a certain amount or don't believe it's going to get to $2 or $3. No, it's not any of that, right? I was wrong in one of the latest videos that I created. I talked about a 200 million uh, coin burn. And yes, that did go through the actual uh, burn wallet, but we need to talk about this uh, because this is definitely something that uh, we need to focus on. Now, <clears throat> I'm not 100% certain that I'm wrong because I haven't looked into all of it um, heavily because I can't really find too much detail on it. It's more of like, because um, this is a situation that exists on multiple networks, this is something that is changeable and on mar multiple networks there. So, um, we're going to talk about this and hopefully I'm not wrong, right? I'm just taking it as in, you know, a couple of people's word. You know, I, I saw the same information on Twitter. I saw the same information in my comment section and I'm kind of seeing some of the same information elsewhere. So I wanted to make sure that I at least had like 10, you know, sources there. I'm not going to name any names, but at least have 10 sources um, that uh, confirming this. And, um, and then we can have that discussion and hopefully in the comment section, we can 100% confirm exactly what this is. But, um, yeah, like I said, um, hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button. Um, if you could hit the notification bell for more videos, uh, like this one. Also, if you guys want to join, um, you know, any of my discord groups and hit me up, uh, you know, via DM, you can definitely do that there. My DMS aren't open on Twitter, but you can always follow me on Twitter at Perry eight K. <clears throat> but, Let's check out where Kronos is today, and then we can get into some of that detail. So Kronos is currently at um, about 11 and a half cents. It has grown from that 10 cent mark. So, you know, we're up to, you know, close to that 12 cent mark, which is really, really good to see us actually grow and make some moves um, in a positive manner. We understand that people still believe that this recession is still going to hit full force and that it will fall down even more. Me, on the other hand, I'm continuing to buy at a lot of these low points because I do believe in the price above this point. It's not about getting the absolute lowest point because it's very difficult to predict the lowest point. And people can say that we have a recession all they want, but the markets react how the markets react. You know, it's based on what people do. And just because one person saying a recession is going to be um, the worst thing possible, people still may be buying at these points, right? And you're going to see the prices skyrocket and then people are going to be like, oh, I thought it was a recession. Well, you know, you're wrong. Some people are wrong. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm going to be right. 
I'm not saying that you're going to be wrong. I'm not saying that you're going to be right, right? It's, it's very difficult to predict exactly where the bottom is. So I'm going to predict close to the bottom and then make those moves. So currently at about 11, um, 11 cents or 11 and a half cents, you're seeing it at a $2.8 billion market cap, <clears throat> total circulating supply at 25.26 uh, billion and the max supply at 30.2, uh, 30.26 billion right? Um, there's 83% of the supply out there. And this is where I always got confused because of the total amount that was in that said it was burned off where it says 76 billion. I will no longer say that because I'm, I'm still sort of confused as to where the clarity is and where each, uh, you know, point is, uh, from point A to point B, but, um, we'll obviously get clarity as time goes on. And as CRO announces what they're going to burn, then they would do it. This is why I was a little bit confused with the 200 million that would burn because there was no announcement by CRO and I or by crypto.com. <clears throat> so if you aren't familiar with what that is, so if you go into, um, you know, CRO, if you go into their contract address, the Ethereum contract address, not going through the Cosmos or Solana, right? You're going through Ethereum. Um, you're going to see that you have 200 uh, million somewhere in here. I think it might be on like the sixth, maybe sixth or seventh page um, in this dead wallet. And I'll keep going until I find it. So it's probably on like the sixth page, uh, maybe the seventh. Let's keep going here. I'm going to keep going until I find crypto.com as a name. It's somewhere around here. <coughs> oh, man. Maybe the 10th page? Maybe I might have skipped it. Maybe it was around the 5th page. <clears throat> but you keep going until you see crypto.com. There it is. 200 million. So obviously, there's a lot of burns that are going through here. And people are like, hey, you know what? There's a ton of burns that are going through here. Um, well, what's going on with this? Why are we not seeing the, a decrease in the uh, total supply over here? <clears throat> well... Um, you know how, like, say if you wanted to move networks, let's say if you wanted to uh, take some from the Ethereum network and it has multiple, um, you know, networks that it is on, right? Solana, Cosmos, the uh, Kronos chain, whatever it is, right? You have the different chains that it's on. Well, you're able to move those because you're burning it on one chain and actually, um, you know, minting it, I guess, on another, right? And I'm, again, not 100% um, it, it's not a 100% exact science or how I'm breaking it down is the exact science of how it works. This is just kind of a, a simple breakdown, um, you know, in my own breakdown, not anybody else's book definition of a breakdown, but yeah, basically you're taking uh, the 200 million and you're just converting it or, um, you know, distributing it to another chain, another network, right? So, that 200 million is obviously being distributed to other networks. I don't know where, if it is, um, but it's not a burn. From what I understand, it's not a burn of the supply because the burn just takes it out completely. It's not on any other network. It's on, you know, it's burned on the Ethereum network or whatever network it is, and it's not reminted or minted in another uh, network there. So <clears throat> that's where I was wrong about, you know. Now, are they doing burns? I would imagine some of these are burns and some of these are obviously the same thing that we are seeing, uh, conversion, some sort of conversion or redistribution of those coins uh, on a different network. So all of these are not considered the a burn if you are looking at these and how much they are burning. So I was wrong in um, plenty of videos that I talked about the burns that are going through the dead wallet. Um, it's a different story when you involve multiple networks in it, <clears throat> coins like um, you know, or tokens like CRO, um, and, and others that are out there. So I just wanted to come out and say that I feel like I was wrong. Um, and I see that I was wrong. Uh, probably not all of it that has been, um, uh, that I'm wrong about, um, because obviously some are still being burned, but just not to the extent that we thought they were being burned. Now, <clears throat> if CRO is going to come out and do some sort of larger burn, they will come out and announce it. They will tell us that they're going to do this burn or they did this burn already, right? They're not going to tell us they're going to do this burn on this date because then <clears throat> if you do that, you're going to have an influx of people, they burn it, then you're going to have an outflux of people, right? Or outflow, right? Um, and that's not what you want. So they're probably going to do it and then announce it after that. But it'll probably be something quick like, hey, we did this. 
um, just five minutes ago or we did this an hour ago or something like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. They're not going to pre and they're not going to announce it and then do it uh, ahead of time. So anyways, just wanted to say that I was wrong. I still do believe in CRO. I still do see a lot of potential in this position. This is why I continue to buy. This is why I continue to look for um, positive uh, movements here. And I'm also looking for some passive income. But you let me know what you think about this. What am I wrong about? What am I right about? I'm learning from you guys every day, just like you guys are learning some things from me, right? So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. Follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. Um, and if you want to follow any of my other accounts or my other um, you know, YouTube accounts, my Twitter, my Instagram, all of that, go ahead and follow it. Link should be down in the description. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one.